Good evening, side friends. It's the Bitty Man. Coming back at you from Walker's Music, but yet another word for the day. Give God the glory. Give him all the praise for life, health, and strength for the as it is. We also want to give a shout out to all the cyber friends, YouTube fam, blog talk, you know who you are. Just wanted to say that uh, we you know, thank God for each and every one of you and we hope everybody's doing fine. Many man come tonight about 11 o'clock and um, been pretty busy today. We had to put in a new operating system on PC, had to uh, do a little more house calls. And, but nevertheless, we did get something done and we were just messing around here with the uh, with uh, putting a new operating system on one of my laptops and uh, decided I'd take a break for a moment or two just to sit down and some uh, notions came to me when I was thinking of, I was thinking about a song that I need to be working on and uh, the scripture came to me about uh, the way things are going to be in the, in the time that's approaching us and uh, it made a necessary matter of fact let me turn on my other mic it made it necessary for me to uh, comment on uh, do this video I didn't really intend to do one tonight but I got to thinking about that some of us, believe it or not, some of us are not going to repent, period. Some of us will not change. We just determined to do and have our way. And uh, many man just, I think that is so sad. But nevertheless, we must continue to keep on doing the work of the evangelist. And do as Jesus told us to do, to teach all nations and to spread this gospel everywhere we go but nevertheless people now i can on my keyboard here just to prove to prove a point i can change chords very easily i can start with this one and i can easily change and go here back to here and i can easily change chord so it's an act of the will i say i want to change chord and i change chord People are the same way when it comes to spirituality and spiritual things. It's all about choice. God gave us free will and choice. He doesn't want us to, he didn't want robots or puppets. He wanted people that would love him and do right just because of our love for him. And it's, it's, it's very strange, and I'm not going to do a very long video tonight, but I just wanted to just let everybody just make you I should say reawake some things. Let's rediscover some things. And what I'm saying is that even after all of the, 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 the goodness that Jesus is going to bring on this planet, soon and very soon, Jesus is going to rule 1,000 years during the millennium. And it's going to be perfect peace and happiness. Everything is going to be just fine. But do you know, do you know that even after all of that, Satan is still going to manage to gather up a whole bunch of people to still follow him and to try to come against the holy city. Y'all don't believe that? Let's read. I'm going to read just a little bit. I'm going to try to keep this video up on the 10 minutes. It said in the, in the book of Revelation, if you look at chapter 20, and it says, I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit, and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nation no more, till the thousand years were, should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loose for a season. So you see, he was shut down for a thousand years during the millennium where he could not deceive anyone and not, not touch anyone. But, but look at this. Listen to this here. If you go down to the verse 7 of that same chapter, it said, And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, that north, east, south, and west people. Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle. 
the number of whom is the sand of the sea. See all them people, he's going to still be able to get to follow him. He's a, he's a reason he got very good charisma, people. And they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the count of the saints about their beloved city. And fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. They come against the neutral, they came against Jerusalem. That's where Jesus' headquarters is going to be during the millennial. They came against it and God rained fire on them. And look what happened. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are. Remember, they were already thrown down when Jesus first came. And shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Not for two weeks, people, but forever and ever. And then he said, I saw a great white throne of him that sat on it from whom faced the earth and the heaven fled away. And there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were open. And another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. Listen to this, people. And the sea gave up the dead, which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead, which were in them. And they were judged, every man, according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. See, death is thrown in the lake of fire. That's the last enemy that shall be destroyed. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Well, people, that seems like going to be a lot of them. Because remember all that, that host that Satan had to follow him? Now, I'm not going to say that they didn't. I'm not going to say, I'm not, I can't set in and determine their fate because I don't know that. But it seems very obvious that a lot of them are going to be lost because they follow Satan down to the bitter end. So now, I don't know whether grace is going to save them or not. You know, you got a lot of people saying grace covered it all. But remember, this after the second coming of Jesus Christ. So I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and be no authority and say I know what's going to happen because I don't. But I know that that remnant that followed Satan, they disobeyed still. And they followed Satan still and they were destroyed. So they didn't have time to repent. So I'm going to let you figure it out where they end up at. Because it said whosoever name were not cast, found written in the Lamb's Book of Life were cast into the lake of fire. There it is, people. There it is. So we see, we can see very clearly. That even after all the goodness of Christ, a 1,000 year of perfect peace and perfect happiness, that still Satan is going to get people to follow him. Y'all, don't you see we need to be about our Heavenly Father's business in a bad way. With that being said, me the man going to leave it right there for now. We will take it up in the Bible study on next week if the Lord will. So when he said whatever you get, whatever you get into, if God is not in it, the best that you come out of it, this is Midi Man saying peace. Good night.